Well, big weekend coming up for the University of Regina Cougar women's basketball team. The undefeated Cougars host the CanWest Final Four. At stake, a trip to the Nationals. Tonight, Molly Thomas took a trip to the U of R, where she is now. Molly. Well, Glenn, it's a pivotal practice for the Cougars today. A last chance to iron out any plays or problems. Now, this team is undefeated, had a 20-0 record. That is the best in Cougar history. But at the end of the, end, at the, end of the day, we're in playoffs now, so it all comes down to tip-off tomorrow. A rich history of women's basketball overlooks this gym. Still only one year resulted in a CIS national title. That's from 2001, when these players wore smaller jerseys. I remember back in the day being in the old gym watching Simone and Bree and Crystal Heisler, all of them play and kind of do their thing. So it's kind of sweet to be in the, their position now. Players like Joanna Salaszczuk are determined to make their own mark. Originally from Poland, the 5'8 guard led her conference in assists this year. She also led her team in steals and finished second under the boards. All of that resulted in two of the CIS's top honours, Canada West All-Star and MVP. I was a little surprised. I was not quite expecting it, just like I said, because we are not putting great stats individually. Um, but yeah, like, oh, I felt appreciated and recognized, and that's a great ending of my career with the Cougars. There you go. For the second time, Lindsay Lettingham was named a second team all star. The fourth year forward scored 34 points in last week's sweep. Go straight up, Letty. You're fading a little. You're and Coach Taylor has his own accolades. After six years at the helm, he's been named Canada West Coach of the Year. We've got a very deep bench, too. What we have that I think is unique this year and has helped us a lot is our top six players in terms of minutes played are all fourth and fifth year kids, and um, that's a big advantage. We're a very veteran team. It's Cherkis. The last championship in this gym was three years ago when the Cougars lost in the national final. Some of the girls were rookies and won another run at that bronze baby. Bronze baby, I mean, it brings a smile to my face. It would be super sweet to bring that home. There are so many good teams in the country and in our, in our conference especially, so we kind of got to take care of business first and then that's kind of our next step to look forward to that. Now the best in the West will be in town tomorrow. UBC plays the Huskies at 5 and the Cougars take on Fraser Valley at 7. Now the winners will go on to the Canada West final on Saturday night. The top team out of that will go on to Nationals to compete for that bronze baby. Glenn? Okay, thank you very much, Molly. Uh, Can West Final Four starting. Uh, well, be well underway by this time tomorrow night. You got to wonder if Coach Taylor kind of secretly wished they had lost maybe a game or two during the season because now mm. they got the pressure of that perfect season that they got to protect. So. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that doesn't sit well with teams. Hey? <laughs> well, it's great, you know, once the season's over and you've won every game you played. But yeah. uh, right now, it's you know the targets on the back. So yeah, very good. All right, we'll go Cougars. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, we'll be right back.